why did Foxconn pick Wisconsin? Because they could have gone anywhere. I think there are several reasons for that, and many of them are what we talk about being the strengths of the state. But really, at the end of the day, it started at the top. Terry Go and Governor Walker hit it off. Uh, we were able to convince them that we had the, the workforce, we had the capacity and the capabilities to be able to make sure that they had the talent, not just for those people, not just for Foxconn, but for other employers in the state of Wisconsin. Because taking employees from one company and moving to them to another, it's just it's a zero-sum game, and it's not really in the, be the benefit of the state. There are 57,000 people, residents of the state of Wisconsin, that, that every day cross the state line to go to work in Illinois. Go south. Yep, and there are half of that number, 27,000, that go from Illinois to Wisconsin. And what I look at and say is, this is an opportunity for us to give jobs to those 58,000 people that make a decision to go from Wisconsin to Illinois every day to work in the state that they live in. What is Mr. Gow like? He's an entrepreneur. Every step of the way, every step of the way. He, he is a very interesting guy. He has a, uh, a huge heart uh, and, and a great, he has great compassion and great passion for what he does. And I, and I think the real, the key to it in the deal itself was his willing to put his personal guarantee on the line for this. Did Wisconsin's incentives package, um, how much bigger was it than the uh, packages offered by other states? We were far and away the biggest? No. We were not. No. Did the size of it ever intimidate you? Did you feel, let me put it this way, did you feel you were mortgaging the future of your grandchildren? Um, or I, putting it at risk? I, I, think, uh, I, I think we were investing in, in the future of our grandchildren. That's, what I, that's the way I look at it. So there's no cancellation clause in the contract? I haven't found any as I've scanned it. No. I'm not a lawyer. Okay. No, there's no out on either side. It's all performance-based. Foxconn has to do this. The state has to do that. If a Democrat is elected governor, what advice would you give she or he in terms of the Foxconn contract? I would say stick with it. It's an investment in our, in our uh, children and our grandchildren's future. It's an investment in the state's future.